Hi right, guys, up at the garage again today, and I've been spending quite a lot of time uh, doing some tidying up. So chucking out a load of junk, and I'm sure I haven't got rid of the half of it. And I've also spent some time putting up a wall on one side of the, the space, because sometimes other people use this or come into this, uh, this building. And I've just decided to, to make, make it a bit more secure. So I've now got you know, a post on one side and I've got a big gate on the other with a lock on it. And then going down there, I've got a nice tall wall. So uh, pretty pleased with that. Um, I have just taken the Land Rover outside uh, because I want to change over the wheels because I've got to get the, uh, the German TIFF or the um, uh, NOT and it won't pass on those cross plies. So I'm going to change over uh, onto the uh, BF Goodrich. Um, and what I thought I would do is, because I've got those big chunky um, lug nuts on there, I'm going to change back to the, uh, the smaller standard ones. So I'm just giving those a clean up. So these are the ones I've got on there at the moment. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're fine because they sort of protect the ends and any grime getting in there, but uh, just fancy to change. I'm gonna miss these, these wheels. Um, I mean, I can always put them back on after the MOT, but I'm sure I'd probably, <laughs> probably be lazy and won't. But at some point I'd like to get some uh, Defender rims and maybe put those tires on it, tires on them if they fit. So I've just dragged these ones out. Pretty grubby actually, some of them, so um, I'll give those a clean up. Um, but one thing I did notice when I was um, just driving around the block here is that the again the brake, the brakes were binding on reverse, so I couldn't push the car out. I tend to push the car out and then start it outside because it uh, it stinks in here <laughs> if, I, if I use the choke and start it in here. Um, but I couldn't really budge it, so I had to start it in here. I also noticed that when I was driving around, um, the front left brake uh, was ultra sensitive. So uh, I'd just be driving around. Uh, there was no binding, but I'd just be driving around, around there and then just sort of push the brakes as normal and it would just lock up, which was a really nice feeling actually because it made, 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 uh, made me feel like I've got really good brakes on the Land Rover, uh, like modern brakes, uh, but obviously there's something wrong with it. So if there's any of, uh, any of you who might you know, know what that might be, why it's sort of really, you know, coming on extraordinarily powerfully um, to the point where it locks up, um, then please let me know. But anyway, I'm gonna get on with uh, changing the wheels now. Right, so I forget how heavy these wheels are, but I think I know the reason why I put these on. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe for the MOT or something, but you can see with these wolf rims on and the standard studs, they're not tightened down yet, but they're not far off and they, they reach maybe half of the lug nut. So, hmm, I'm wondering if I actually put these back on for the MOT because uh, doesn't look like enough to me. Okay, so I just realized another plus point with these larger encapsulated lug nuts uh, is that when you put them in the socket, they protrude. But these ones disappear up inside there. And I just did this, which is really annoying. So, hmm, I've tightened these up now and you can see there isn't... <laughs> There is that grabbing, maybe just over halfway. Uh, but yeah, that's annoying, so I just have to look out for that. But anyway, as I say, another another plus point for using using these larger ones if my phone would ever focus. Terrible, this phone. Okay, so just doing the other side, and clearly I've got a problem here. I've got a leak. I did mention it the last time I was looking looking in here. There wasn't much of a leak, but now it's massive. So uh, both sides. Uh, and I've also bought new uh, new drums and new uh, brake shoes put on here. So I'm going to have to resolve that first. I've just got to work out, first of all, where the leak is coming from. Because um, you can see, I mean, it's grease. 
it's presumably coming from down in there. Oops, mind your trousers. Although there's nothing obvious. It's really weird. It's got to be coming from down in there. So, looks like I'm going to have to take that apart. Okay guys, so I think I just found my culprit. Um, it's just the same as what happened on the back brake cylinder. That is dripping in there, look at that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> but there you go. That is my problem. Hmm. So it's not an oil leak, it's a brake line leak. Okay guys, so you remember my stash of brake parts and girling stuff from the UK last year? Um, well, I just unpacked all of that, as you can see. And uh, I've got the, the girling um, wheel cylinder, and uh, it is actually the one that I need. So I'm taking it apart now, uh, just to see if I can, um, I can save it. But I've had to heat things up because these nipples here, oh, that's still hot, were really well embedded in there, but they're actually coming out with a bit of heat. And also the piston popped out. So I'll show you that in a minute. God, this is this is amazing, you know. I mean, this is an alloy part with a steel uh, nipple going into it, and it's original to the car, so it's 45 years old. And that Porsche there has uh, it's 20 years old, so nonetheless, it's still quite old. Um, well, next year it's 20 years old, and pretty much every bolt that goes out into every steel bolt that goes into an alloy housing or something you can forget you're gonna have to it's gonna snap and you're gonna have to drill it out I've had so many of those cases on that car with the, within the restoration it's mad but you know with the Land Rover with the girling parts and I don't know why but heat them up a little bit give it a bit of oil and out they come okay Okay, I've got to be careful because it's still hot. I wore my glasses because actually uh, all of the, the nipples were sealed and stuff, and this was jammed in there as well. So uh, with that liquid that's in there getting hot, it might, might have exploded. So hence the, the glasses. see that but it's in, I mean there is some some rust around the top there but it's incredibly clean Jesus and they're so much lighter than the uh, their aftermarket the aftermarket ones you know let me see yeah there you go I wonder how I can get that out then Ooh. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know if you just saw that, but I just uh, pushed that and um, and it gave way and a whole load of fluid came spurting out. Hmm. I can't remember with these ones whether they've got a spring, whether they've got a spring behind the piston. I think they might. Okay, so I'm gonna have to just 
Yeah, there you go. That's... Wouldn't it be hilarious if I put that in and it worked and didn't leak? Chances are pretty slim, though. I'm going to fire the um, compressor up and I'm going to try and get that out. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe I get excited about very menial things, but um, craftsmanship is something that I really uh, get excited about, you know, really enjoy. And having literally only ever dealt with these uh, uh, aftermarket brake cylinders, taking this apart is just phenomenal. I mean, look, I mean, look at the quality there. I mean, essentially everything on that is renewable um, and you can, it's a serviceable item, whereas the other ones, I'll be very careful with that, you know, these blood, you can just chuck them away, and they're so heavy, I haven't chucked them away though, but this is just absolutely amazing, you know, as I say, 45 years old, it's original to the car, or that axle at least, and it's come out looking virtually new, and I reckon that seal, I don't know what you think, Let's get it in the light. Not much better out here. That seal that might be okay. I expected that to be a lot worse. But then, looking in here, this is a bit worse. I'm just going to give this a clean up now just to see if I can save it, salvage that. Uh, it's looking... Yeah, I don't know. Let me clean it up first and see if it's pitted or not. Okay, guys, so I've spent a bit of time cleaning that up with emery paper and oil, very, 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 very fine emery paper. And you can see right at the end there, there is a, uh, you know, is a little bit of uh, corrosion. But to the, fi to, you know, touching that down there, I reckon I could get that out. What do you think of that? I'm amazed that it's in such good condition. I'm really tempted to put it together and uh, put it onto the car, see if it leaks or not. Maybe there's a test I could do actually outside of the car. An air test, maybe a pressure test with the compressor. Hmm. I'm, in I'm very impressed, very impressed. Gave it a clean up as well. They're just beautiful parts. Absolutely love them. And also, I, I thought that L stood for left, but I think it stands for lower. Right, so I've just done a pressure test on that, and it just holds pressure. It's phenomenal. So you might think I'm mad, but I'm actually going to put that, fit that to the car, because that one leaks, and, you know, <laughs> if this one leaks as well, then okay, but if it doesn't, then happy days. So I'm going to fit it to the car. Although, before I do that, um, I'm going to have to tidy up and go home, because it's actually getting quite late. So I'm going to put the drum back on, just drive it back in here, and I'm going to fit that tomorrow.